Okay, we are going to evaluate this integral. This is the integral from negative 1 to 2, x to a third power, minus 2x dx. So we have to first come up with an antiderivative, and then plug in numbers, and then subtract. Okay, so for this one, we're looking at this as x to a third power, and nothing else will affect this power, so we can just do the power rule backwards. So we are going to first add 1 to the exponent, and 3 plus 1 is 4. We are going to divide it by that exponent. So divide it by 4. So we are going to get x to the fourth power over 4 for the first part. And for the next part, this is minus 2x, and this is like x to the first power. Once again, I'm going to use the power rule backwards. Plus 1, right, to the exponent, 1 plus 1 is 2, and divide it by 2. So of course the 2 will cancel. We are just going to have minus x to the second power. This right here, it's the antiderivative. And now we have the numbers right here. We don't need to worry about plus c because we just need to find an antiderivative. Don't worry about the plus c. And we just draw the right and brackets like this and indicate negative 1 and 2. Our first job is plugging 2 into all the x. So we are going to get 2 to the fourth power over 4 minus 2 squared. That's the first part after we're plugging 2 into all the x. And then we'll take this and we're going to subtract when we're plugging negative 1 into all these x. So subtract the whole thing. So use the parentheses accordingly. This will be helpful. We are going to get negative 1 to the fourth power over 4. And we have minus negative 1 into the x, so minus 1 to the second power, like this. And now the rest is just a matter of work out the arithmetic. So if you would like, um, let's just work this out together for the first time. 2 to the fourth power is 16. 16 divided by 4 is 4. And minus 2 squared, which is 4. So that part is going to be 0. And we have minus. And this is negative 1 to the fourth power, which is just 1. 1 over 4, so we have 1 fourth. And this is 1, but this is minus 1, right? And technically, I still have the parentheses like that. 1 fourth, and this is minus, this is 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. But anyways, this is going to be 0. 4 minus 4 is 0. That's really nice. 1 fourth minus 1, which is negative 3 fourths. This is going to be negative 3 fourths. Uh, 0 minus negative 3 fourths, altogether we are going to get positive 3 fourths. And this is it. However, um, you don't need to st stress out too much about like, how to add a fraction, things like that. Um, on the test, you can just show me this amount of work. Okay, You have to show me up to here, and then you can punch everything onto the calculator if you would like. And um, if you can, try to give me a fraction for the answer. But it's not too bad to do this one as well. So up to you. That's it.